In this video, we will guide you through on how to add a customer, a job site, and the fire pump details. To get started, click the New Customer button on the left-hand side. Be sure to choose a country so that your state list will populate properly. By clicking on the Contact tab, you can add additional contact information. This is important because these are the names that you can gather to sign your completed fire pump test report. Once you have entered the information, click the Create Customer button. Now that the customer has been created, we can now add a job site. To add a job site, click the Add Job Site button. If your job site is at the same address and information as your customer information, click the green button to have that information pre-filled in for you. Again, if you have additional contact information, enter it now so that you can receive a signature later on in the fire pump test. Once you have that information, click the Create Job Site button. Now we're ready to add our fire pump details. The fire pump information is split up into tabs for each component at the top of the page. Please note the red asterisk next to pump name, your net pressure ratings, the rated RPM, and the rated capacity of the fire pump is required for a fire pump to be created. Under driver, you must also choose whether it's electric, diesel, or other. Under the system demand, please enter the hydraulic information for the risers that the fire pump is feeding. This is important because we want to make sure that the fire pump is properly meeting the flow and pressure requirements of the most demanding systems. And this information will be graphed on our discharge graph in our fire pump test report. Under the testing information, here you can choose the frequency of the test, the annual test month, as well as any of the test header details, including length of hose and location notes. Once you have entered all the information, click Create Fire Pump. 